Now let's look at a positive negative discourse. Your class may not use the same table right here, but you don't have to be worried. All tables are very similar. You can download this table by clicking our links, which we provide for you. Let's start looking at the top Z curve. So this curve tells you this table will give you the error when you provide a z-score which is negative and a z-score negative will give you this error right here. Let's think about one problem. Let's say I have a p, we are looking for the z-score which is less than negative 1.33. So first is I want to know where the error should be. So let me graph right here. I give zero right here, and I just see it right here. That's going to be negative one point three three. Negative goes to the left side. Right, then I give a vertical line right here. So it's less than this number. The graph goes to the left side. So the error is right here. That's exactly what does this table give us? So if I can find a negative 1.33 from the table, we are able to find the error. In order to find this number right here, remember, this score must be two decimal place because this is how we find the Z score from the table. If you look at the left side, the first column, left side column right here, the negative numbers, about there are two numbers right here. The first number will be the ones digit. The second number is tenth digit. So from the first column, we can find negative 1.3 first. So let's find that number first. It's right here. The hundredth place will be on the top. So now we're looking at a three. So three is right here. Now we have negative 1.33. Only thing we have to do is finding the number So the intersection right here gave us the error we are looking for. So P, this score less than 1.33 equals to 0, 0.0918. If you, want, if you want to give a percentage, that's going to be 0. That's going to be go two decimal place to the right, right, so that's going to be 9.18%. Now let's discuss about if I want to have P, the Z score is bigger than 1.33. This is negative Z scores. But we are looking for positive numbers. You have to think about what are we discussing before. Let's first find this number first, right? 1.33 on the graph. Z curve right here. That's going to be 1.33. The zero error we're looking for is goes to the right. That's going to be the error I'm looking for. By symmetry, this error should be the same as the one we just found from the table. So this is also equals to 9.18%. Now how about if I want to find a P, this score is bigger than negative 1.33. Remember, our graph can only give you the left side error, and this is goes to the right side. 
So right side we are looking for will be a different way. So we have to think about, okay, the left side plus the right side gives us the 100%. So in order to find the right side of negative 1.33, we basically have to do is 100%, or it says 1, subtract 0 0.0918. So the answer will be 0 0.9082. Now we have a positive z-score table. So positive z-score table. From the left side of the column, you say all numbers are positive. The error we are looking for when we put in a positive z score, the error will be everything to the left side. Okay. Now let's look at a problem. If we are looking for the error when the z score is bigger than 1.33, less than 2.15. So basically, we are looking for the z-score in between one point, negative 1.33 and 2.15. Let's graph this first to see where we are looking for, what's the area we are looking for. So first we have 0 in the middle, and I put right here is negative 1.33. You don't have to be accurate. The, on the right side, let's put right here, 2.15. We use the vertical line. Vertical line. Since we are looking for the middle, so that's what we are looking for. If you look at our graph right here, then compare to our positive table, Basically, we don't want this part, but this is part of what we just did before from the negative z-score table. If you remember, we done that before. This error right here is 1.33, and if you remember, that's 0 0.0918. So this tells me if I can find my positive z-score using the positive z-score table, I can find the total error on the top. Then after I get rid of the negative part right here, I'm able to get the error what I'm looking for in the middle. That's exactly what we're going to do. So first, we're going to use the positive z-score table to find 2.15. So let's find that first. So we first find 2.1 using the first column. Then let's look for 5 on the top. It's right here. So the intersection is right here. So our steps basically First, we find this score which is less than 2.15. We have the value right here, which is 0.9842. Then we subtract this score is less than negative 1.33 which we did from the previous video the value we get is 0 0.0918 now you can use a calculator finish the calculation right here and get the final answer thank you mm -hmm.